Welcome to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. The Opera Ticket, Episode 3. Hello, I'm Amanda Carlton. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a drama about life in an English hotel called Middleton Hall. And in our first scene today, we hear a conversation between Kevin and Maria. Maria has worked at Middleton Hall for some time, but Kevin is new to the hotel. In fact, he only started work there this morning. On his first evening, Kevin goes into the kitchen to talk to Maria. She explains what she's doing. Mr. Sitwell asked me to polish all this. Mr. Sitwell is the manager of the hotel and he has asked Maria to clean lots of silver plates and lots of glasses. Maria is not happy about this. As we heard last time, she's a student at university, and that evening she wanted to go to London for a class, but Sitwell would not let her. She says to Kevin, It's just not fair. And as you listen to the scene, answer these two questions. What does Kevin offer to do? And... Does Maria accept his offer? Let's find out. Come in! Maria? Ah, sorry to disturb you. Oh, hello, Kevin. Are you all right? Thank you. I really appreciate it. So... What does Kevin offer to do? He asks, Why don't I do this for you? And then you can go up to London for your class. And does Maria accept Kevin's offer? Well, at first she says, It's nice of you to offer, but it's a lot of work. And then she says, I don't think Mr Sitwell would like it. But Kevin persuades her by saying, Surely it doesn't matter who polishes all this stuff. The important thing is that the job gets done. And so Maria goes off to London and leaves Kevin alone in the kitchen, polishing the silver plates and the glasses. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. And don't forget, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org At the start of the next scene, Sitwell is talking to Mr Middleton, the owner of the hotel. Mr Middleton asks him three questions. First, he says, Did you talk to Chef about the lunch menu for Wednesday? Chef is the person who is responsible for cooking the meals at Middleton Hall. Mr Middleton then asks about the glasses and the silver. And Sitwell replies, Maria is in the kitchen polishing them at this very moment. And thirdly, Mr Middleton asks, Did you order the flowers from the village? Sitwell wants to know what is happening and says, I suspect you are planning something rather special. So what exactly is Mr Middleton planning? Here's the start of the scene. Did you talk to Chef about the lunch menu for Wednesday? Yes, he's got everything under control. And what about the glasses and the silver? Maria is in the kitchen polishing them at this very moment. Excellent. And did you order the flowers from the village? It's all done, Mr Middleton. Oh, sit well. How would I manage without you? I'm just doing my job, Mr Middleton. Although, can I ask you what this is all about? I suspect you are planning something rather special. <laughs> you know me too well, Sitwell. As it happens, I am planning something special. You know that Mrs Middleton has gone away for a couple of nights. I believe she left for the railway station a short while ago. She did indeed. Well, I'm planning a little surprise for her when she gets back. It's her birthday on Wednesday, you see. 
So I've invited some friends to the hotel for lunch. A very nice idea, sir. I'm sure Mrs. Middleton will be delighted.、Uh, now I want all the staff here, and I want everybody to look their very best. They won't let you down, Mr. Middleton. Excellent. So, what is Mr. Middleton planning? He tells Sitwell. That Mrs. Middleton has gone away for a couple of days, and says, "I'm planning a little surprise for her when she gets back." He continues, "It's her birthday on Wednesday, you see, so I've invited some friends to the hotel for lunch." And so Mr. Middleton wants all the staff to be there, and he wants everyone to look their best. Sitwell assures him, "They won't let you down." In other words, you can rely on them. They won't disappoint you. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio program from the British Council. When the scene continues, Mr. Middleton asks Sitwell about Kevin. He says, "How's the new boy doing?" And what is Sitwell's answer to that question? Then Mrs. Sheridan comes into reception. She's a guest of the hotel who we met earlier in the series. She says something terrible has happened. And my final question today is, what has happened to Mrs. Sheridan? Here's the next part of the scene. Oh, sit well.、Uh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask, how's the new boy doing? What's his name? Kevin. Yes. Well, what shall I say? He hasn't made the best start. I know he wasn't your first choice for the job. He most certainly wasn't. But Mrs. Middleton insisted.、Uh, yes, and I'm sure she had her reasons.、Uh, anyway, perhaps this Kevin will improve when he's been here a while. We must live in hope, I suppose. We must live in hope. Oh, sit well. There you are. Oh, and Mr. Middleton.、Uh, good evening, Mrs. Sheridan. Is everything all right, madam? Something terrible has happened. I think my handbag has been stolen. No, Mrs. Sheridan. I'm sure there's been a mistake. May I ask? When did you last have it? Well, I definitely had it in my room yesterday morning, but I've checked and it's not there. And then I think I had it in the lounge at lunch time, but I've looked there too, and there's no sign of it. Oh, and it's got everything in it—my money, my phone, my credit cards. Oh. Even my ticket to the opera on Wednesday. Now, don't get upset, Mrs. Sheridan.、Uh, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. Oh, I do hope so. Yes, please take a seat, Mrs. Sheridan. Just wait there for a few moments. I'll go and see if Maria knows anything about this. So, when Mr. Middleton asks Sitwell about Kevin, how does Sitwell reply? He says he hasn't made the best start. Yes, it's obvious that for some reason Sitwell really doesn't like Kevin. But Mr. Middleton is more positive. He says perhaps this Kevin will improve when he's been here a while. They are then interrupted by Mrs. Sheridan, who is very upset about something. What has happened to her? She says, "I think my handbag has been stolen." If you were listening last time, then you'll remember that Kevin found Mrs. Sheridan's handbag in the hotel lounge and gave it to Mrs. Middleton. But Sitwell doesn't know this, so he tells Mrs. Sheridan to sit down and says, "I'll go and see if Maria knows anything about this." But as we know, Maria is not there because she's gone to London for her evening class. So what will happen when Mr. Sitwell finds Kevin in the kitchen doing Maria's work? 
We'll find out next time. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Come in. Maria? Ah, sorry to disturb you. Oh, hello, Kevin. Are you all right? Wow. Look at all this stuff. All this silver. Yes. Mr Sitwell asked me to polish all this. All these silver plates. Look at them. They're all so old and dirty. And when I finish this lot, I've got to polish all these glasses as well. I mean, it's just not fair. No. No, it's not. Actually, Maria, that's why I came to see you. I was thinking, why don't I do this for you and then you can go up to London for your class? Oh, Kevin, really? Thank you. It's nice of you to offer, but it's a lot of work. It's all right. I don't mind. I don't know, though. I don't think Mr Sitwell would like it. But I'll do a good job. I promise. Yes, I'm sure you will. So, what's the problem? You don't know what Mr Sitwell's like. What if he comes in here and checks? Surely it doesn't matter who polishes all this stuff. The important thing is that the job gets done. I don't know, Kevin. Oh, come on. You want to go to your class in London, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do, really. And you've still got time to catch your train, haven't you? Well, yes, if I run. Then what are you waiting for? Give me that cloth. Oh, Kevin, are you sure? Go on, run. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Did you talk to Chef about the lunch menu for Wednesday? Yes, he's got everything under control. And what about the glasses and the silver? Maria is in the kitchen polishing them at this very moment. Excellent. And did you order the flowers from the village? It's all done, Mr Middleton. Oh, sit well. How would I manage without you? But that's all for today. You've been listening to Middleton Hall, a British Council Learn English radio series. And remember, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from Amanda Carlton and me, David Evans. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>